Thank you once again, our viewer, for joining us. This is part two of the real Christmas. Part two of the real Christmas. In part one of the real Christmas, we heard how Petit, the wife of Timothy, released him by faith to go to Congo because she believed that if God calls you and gives you a vision to protect you, and if he gave himself, that we took a gift. And we found that the foundation of the gospel is the real Christmas, is in the giving. Now, uh, the summit was the, the fruit or the result of the first episode. Uh, after all that, Timothy had a wonderful time with uh, ILI alumni in, in, uh, in Goma. Now, going to part two, we want to actually ask uh, Timothy to continue and tell us what happened after that. Now we just uh, how many people came to the summit? Uh, Thirty. Thirty. What are some of their testimonies? They have been transformed with the, with the eight cobayas. One of the men there has been living on the eight cobayas in himself that have brought about a lot of change in his in his church in his area. He's a local pastor in, in Goma. And the church has really grown out of the out of the practice of the eight core values and teaching the members. And so he can see real transformation in his members, in his life as an individual, and in the members of his church. Um, Do you know his name? I don't remember when he was trained. He was he was the very first one to be trained. He's, he has he has a very difficult uh, name. Uh, I think it's uh, Goma or some okay. something. But uh, uh, there was there was there's also a young a young man by the name uh, Patrick who was trained in in January. We trained him in January. Uh, this one in the training this year in January. In the Papi Center. In the yes, in Where the Rudolph. Where myself, yourself, and enjoy Joy living. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yeah. in, in the Rudolph Center. Yes. And he he went back to school. He passed the vision to empower other young people to live their potential through economic empowerment, through economic growth. And he began a project of, uh, of keeping rabbits. And, uh, and so the rabbits have grown. They have multiplied to a point that now he also has chicken on top. And he has empowered uh, two young men who are taking care of the, of, of, of the chicken. They are selling to the local, the local shops there. And, uh, and and he's very excited about what the future has for, for him. So they are getting daily uh, pay that has, is sustaining them. Wow, wow, that is very inspiring. I have to remember that young man yes. when I was teaching the session on vision in January. He was talking about empowerment, yes. empower, empowerment. Yes. I remember him saying that he doesn't want to rely on the church yes. for support and he wants to take the gospel. Yes. Uh, that's very exciting to hear that the vision he wrote that now is coming true. Yes. Now, viewer, that is one of the most exciting reasons why we keep moving from one nation to the other to train leaders with ILI. That is the reason that we train a young man in Goma in January, uh, January of uh, this year, and then in November, you train him in January how to write the vision and mission and to set a goal. And now in November, he has, he's already living his vision, he has a chicken. He has, he has the, 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 the rabbits, so the vision has turned out to be his lifestyle. That's very exciting and that's one of the reasons why we like to go around teaching these four values and we want to appreciate people like Joy Griffin who sacrifice a lot to come to Africa and to go to Congo with us. Now Joy, you might remember that story of that young man and now you can hear about the chicken and, uh, and, and the rabbits. Now, Petit, I know that you, you are a very hard-working wife, and, and when you talk about chicken and rabbits, <laughs> I know that uh, that even gives you a lot of encouragement why you, sent, uh, why you sent your husband. So, can you tell us a little bit what, uh, what you do for an income? Uh, and I know you love chicken and rabbits and other things. How do you generate your income, uh, particularly that keeps you busy when you're away? Farming. There was that time that I had chicken, but unfortunately, due to 
some reasons they had to we had to pinch them. Uh, right now I'm going to be selling uh, some ladies' clothes and that is what I do and uh, it has been really working well. When Timothy was not around, that is what I was doing and uh, still when he was around, that is what I was doing. Yes. You sell ladies' clothes? Yes. You no longer love, love chickens and uh, rabbits and the rest of the animals? Going. So <laughs> when this one is not working, I'm very, I move very fast. Now, if you are listening to that business wisdom right there, that uh, petite moves with the economic uh, way, she is a strategic, uh, visionary lady. If it's raining, she's gonna sell umbrellas. If it's uh, if it is time for near Christmas, you keep the clothes and for ladies. Those ladies like shopping. So that's wisdom, and that is that is that is very great. We will come back later to you uh, to your your prayer needs and how best we can pray for you and uh, and how how the viewer can support you in your economic activities because we I'm sure there is a viewer who will really want to support you. But before we come to that, we want to go back to Timothy. He has given us an exciting story of a person with the lapis. Uh, can you close the whole? Uh, summit by telling us one more story of that was very exciting in that summit uh, and then we can proceed yeah um, it was also interesting and, and very encouraging to hear uh, there's a pastor whose whose church was uh, i keep forgetting those french names uh, but but he's, he was he was a uh, he was trained about about two years ago and uh and he, he, he came when his church was very small, very, very small in number, very small in, in, uh, in, in terms of the, 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 the growth of the members themselves. And so he has been able to, through the, through the, he came up with the Acts 1 8 strategy. And in the workshop, he was able to define his, 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 uh, his Jerusalem there is some area in the end of the heart. And through that, he has been able to plant two more churches. Wow. Uh, in, in, in Goma and outside Goma. And, uh, and, and the church himself, the, the, the one that was very small in number, has actually grown uh, to more than 50 people. Praise the Lord. And now the, the, he has two more branches that have resulted out of the living out and practicing the Acts 1 strategy that he came up with. Uh, about two, two or three years ago. Now, viewer, we will stop it there, but listen to this. The, the delegates who came to the alumni who came to the summit in Goma, uh, one of them was living out his vision because we teach a session on visionary leadership, power of vision, how to write your vision and mission. You heard that story. Now, the other one, the second one here, he is a pastor who is living out his um, passion for the harvest uh, by developing an Acts 1 8 uh, strategy. We do teach two sessions on passion. Passion for the harvest, where we define it, and then we help you develop Acts 1 8 strategy. Now, this man who came to, in, in as a delegate uh, has now they, 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 he developed Acts 1 8 strategy, and now he planted a church. Was it in some area or in Judea or where? Uh, it was in his Judea. His Judea. His Judea. Uh -huh. And his end of the earth, actually. Because the other one is it's, it's actually very remote in the village. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. the Lord. This is very exciting. That uh, he developed his Act 1 8 strategy. He discovered his Samaria, his Jerusalem, his ends of the earth, and Judea. And he has planted his church in two of those areas. <coughs> How wonderful this is. And uh, I will want to. I want to pause it at that moment, this episode too. Uh, as you can hear, Timothy has many, many more stories. There's only two, that's two of two people who have been impacted by two different core values. Uh, you can imagine eight more of those, and we do not have uh, the time in this episode for that. But I want to conclude by saying that uh, when you invest in a leader to go for a training, the result is what you hear Timothy saying here. That's the result. That's the result. 
That's why in this Christmas, Live Christmas series, we are inviting you to invest in a GOA leader to bring him to Nairobi for three days leadership summit where the experienced leaders of GOA who have been there for 30 years will be investing through mentorship into the next set of leaders. And then your investment of $50 will bring such a leader into such kind of a transformational setting. And then several months down the line, you can hear testimonies like the one with the chicken and lab bait, the one with the with planting churches. That is what giving can do. So please, if you wanna consider donating $50 to bring a pastor, go ahead to the online link. And may the Lord bless you. It is wonderful, it's wonderful to be with you in this session. I'll close it with that for now. Uh, this is Leo Christmas 2022. May the Lord bless you. Let's meet with you shortly when we are going to really be getting into a plane through Timothy. And uh, we'll be going to another different level. Just come back with us and it will be telling us how that also is. Thank you.